Hey guys, Cloudier Hacker, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a video on showing you guys what you need to do to accomplish a Media Center PC or Mac as far as um, accessing your media from TV, from your home. But this first part is let's talk about applications. Now, the only way you're going to access your media is using applications. Whether you like it or not, that's how it works. So, if you're under Windows, you could try Windows Media Center. If you're if you have Windows um, 7, I believe it, it has Windows Media Center. Unless you have a business version, then you're going to have to take a look at another thing, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But Windows Media Center is very nice because it allows you to organize your media player. You can have using obviously Windows formats, you can access your media, your movies, but I'm not going to get too much into that because I'm on my Mac right now and I don't have Windows. I will be showing you guys Windows Media Center in the future, but it's not really that important because you can get better applications out there for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. Now the application I'm going to show you guys that I recommend anyways to use for a Media Center is called Boxy. Now, Boxy is a free application for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it is absolutely wonderful. It's very, very easy to use, and as you can see, and I'm using a mouse here, you can use a uh, keyboard or you could use a iPhone, which they have a Boxy app, which I will get into later when I do part two of this video to show you actually what you need to get started. But this is an application, and as you can see, I can access movies, um, various movies that I have, but I'm not going to play because it is copyrighted. You can access Netflix, which is awesome, in my opinion, the fact that you can access Netflix on this. Now, I want to keep in mind that in Mac and Windows, you can access Netflix. However, on Ubuntu and on any Linux, you can't access Netflix, which is kind of a disappointment. In the future, they'll probably fix this, but I'm not going to play any... Um, any movie on here. I'm, I'm telling you it does work, but I'm not going to go against any of the copyright violations. So, as you can see, it's very easy to use. I'm just using a keyboard here, but I could be using this, which I will show you in the next one. You can access TV shows, movies, and TV shows is very nice because what TV shows lets you do is it accesses other content from uh, third-party vendors. And I can watch these TV shows without an issue at all, and I will have maybe like one commercial on here, one or two commercials. You can access stuff from Fox, um, Tech Gurus, Cartoon Network. Oh, that's cool. In fact, they've and they've actually really, really added their collection. I'm very happy to see this, and I'm not gonna watch any of them. But for example, let's say I choose something that I have no clue. About 48 hours. Now, I'm going to select one of these, and I hope the guy doesn't play. See CBS? That's one of it. One of the sponsors. Let's see if I can find something that has. Um... They also allow you to access Hulu. That's where some of these are coming from. Hulu, Fox, whatever you, whatever you name. So let's see what I can access from Hulu. Give it a second. I mean, this is amazing, guys. I can access these shows and without an issue. So there's Crackle, I guess that's a new one. That's why they have more of these. I think, let's see, this, this might have, um, I guess I've gotten rid of Hulu, but the point is, guys, that they have so many TV shows, and it's really, really cool. I mean, you can access all of these. Sure, they'll have commercials, but the point is, guys, you can eliminate cable in general because you have all of these shows that you can watch a lot of these are very popular shows you can eliminate cable and it can be in HD Cartoon Network is very nice that they provided these I mean geez I'm kind of amazed they have so so many um, movies on here and so many TV shows that you can watch now you can also access your music that I have um, and I have quite a bit of uh, music here so, music, pictures, I'm not going to get into pictures, um, actually maybe I will. As you can see, I have my pictures here, I can access them. This is very, very nice software, so I'll be showing you guys this software um, on my big screen TV, only 32 inches, but 
it's very easy to use. The software is very, very, very cool. And I can't recommend it enough, and it's called Boxy. I will post the link in there it's for Ubuntu, um, Mac OS X, and Windows. It's, it's great. It, it works very, very good. Now, and it supports all of these file formats, which is very nice. So that, that would be the main application I recommend. Now, if you're used to a keyboard and mouse and prefer the old stuff, applications, there is definitely a media player I recommend out there. If you're not even using a um, media center, I recommend a program called Video Land Client, which is very, very nice. It is awesome. It's for, again, it's for Mac, Windows, and Linux, it, or Ubuntu, whatever you want to say. It is great. It's multi-platform. It supports many, many codecs. You can play DVDs even if you don't have the uh, codec pack. So, I mean, this is very, very nice. It's an open source project, and most of you should know about this. They made it for a iPhone, actually, believe it or not, but it got pulled unless you jailbreak it, which I did. So it's definitely worth jailbreaking. I will be making, actually, more videos of my Verizon iPhone. I've just been quite busy. But Boxy is definitely something I recommend. And Hulu, you can download a, a desktop client, but I wouldn't even recommend it. Um, so that, that's pretty much it, guys. And there's some specific hardware spe specifications I'll get into in this next part of the video. But if you guys can get it, definitely get Boxy. And I will go further into detail in this next part of the video about hardware specifications. And then we'll physically actually set this thing up. It's very, very cool, and it's worth it. I just don't do it enough. Um, I would recommend either PC or Mac or Win or Linux. It doesn't really matter unless you want to have Netflix. Then you'd have to have either PC or Mac. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you guys know a very, very good media player out there, I mean, there's definitely more of them out there. I just recommend Boxy because that's, there's XBMC. There is... Um, there's quite a, other, quite a bit of other ones out there that, that are open source. Um, like I said, Media Center is nice, but it just doesn't support enough files. And so is Front Row. If you guys don't know what Front Row is and you, you have a Mac, I'm very sorry for you. I'm just joking. But it's kind of like their Media Center, but again, it only plays Apple stuff. So it's like having an Apple TV and on your, on your Mac. So you, you could go about it that way, but I'd recommend Boxy overall for the software that you're using. And if you want to get surround sound out of your your Mac, I will get more into that, but we'll we'll get into this and in the hardware specifications of the next video. But I do recommend Boxy overall, guys. Thank you guys. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe. And I appreciate all my hun hundred subscribers that I have now. If you guys definitely like my video, definitely watch, comment, rate, and definitely like my videos. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I do this for you guys, and um, Boxy is one of the best, um, in my opinion, media centers out there, uh, applications out there. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe.